when there is no clear deadline, you have a task, but you also have many other tasks. So your mind is thinking about this one and that thing and something else. So when you're working on this, you feel like, oh, what about, maybe should I, I should, I should check that one out. So you jump from here to there and so on. So you multitask, you keep switching, you're not focused. So something that would have taken like two hours, three hours, it might take like one whole day, maybe even two days. So naturally the question is, do deadlines make us more productive? And in that case, should we always have deadlines to make us do things? Has it ever happened to you that there is some work that needs to get done and you have been postponing, being feeling lazy about it, procrastinating, or even when you start, it's taking too much time. And then suddenly, when there is a deadline, something changes, magically you become more focused, you are more energized, you stop wasting time and the thing gets done right before the deadline. Has it happened to you? Well, I'm pretty sure it has, it happens to all of us. Now clearly, deadlines do have some value. So naturally, the question is, do deadlines make us more productive? And in that case, should we always have deadlines to make us do things? It turns out the answer is complicated. Yes, deadlines under certain conditions can make you more productive, but there are also dangers. So let's understand what's good about deadlines and where are the problem areas. And there are actually three problem areas. So let me just go through this one by one. So let's first understand why do deadlines work? Think about your own life, your own experiences. When there is no deadline, what happens? There are broadly, I would say, at least three problem areas. So first thing is, when there is no clear deadline, you have a task, but you also have many other tasks. So your mind is thinking about this one and that thing and something else. So when you're working on this, you feel like, oh, what about, maybe should I, I, should, I should check that one out. So you jump from here to there and so on. So you multitask, you keep switching, you're not focused, right? So this lack of prioritization takes away focus and without focus, you don't make much progress. Second thing. To do these things, sometimes you just need a little bit of a burst of energy or you need to just say, okay, I'm going to sit and do it. And sometimes we just feel too lazy for whatever reason, we just can't get started. Third is, even when you get started, you're doing things, uh, you're working on something and some concept comes up and you do some Google search and then you find something else which is more interesting. Then you jump from one topic to another, from there to somewhere else. And then before you realize you have gone into some kind of rabbit hole, it's been like one hour, you've forgotten about your original task and then you feel like really frustrated. So the end result is what? End result is what is called Parkinson's law. Work expands to fill the time given for its completion. So something that would have taken like two hours, three hours, it might take like one whole day, maybe even two days. So this is the problem. And when deadlines are there, what happens? All these problems are automatically removed because now you have clarity. Deadline is tomorrow evening, let's say 5 p.m. Now you know, okay, forget everything else. You just have this one priority. Everything else can come later. So why? Because there'll be consequences. You miss the deadline, something bad will happen. And of course, when you know there's only so much time left, even if you find some interesting thing, something else to think about, some, some nice video you find on YouTube, you'll say, you know what? I will do it later. So it makes you more efficient. So together, it gets the job done much faster, much better. You sometimes you actually even feel good. So then, deadlines are great, right? Then we should always have deadlines. We should, al we should always work under deadlines. And the answer is, well, not always. Yes, there are benefits. There are benefits, but there are problems, at least three of them. So number one is that if you take it to extreme, let's say if I say, okay, what if I give you deadline for the task, something which takes like say, let's say two days. If I give you a deadline four hours away, what happens? Now, the task is, now the, the goal is so challenging that your anxiety, you will start feeling anxious. Why? Here's what happens. In our brain, there is a neurotransmitter called norepinephrine. So when our norepinephrine level is very low, we feel lethargic, we feel lazy, but when we have a goal, or when we have something we want to achieve, our norepinephrine level goes up. So as it goes up, we become more alert, more active, and at some point we have this peak focus, we can get into this flow state. But if the norepinephrine level keeps going higher and higher, let's say if I give you a task which takes two days, but I give you a deadline four hours away, now what happens is the level is so high that you start feeling anxious. You start getting into panic. And so there is an optimal level beyond that. If the deadline is too, too challenging, you will get anxious. And when you get very high anxiety, what will happen? Your brain will stop working, you will freeze, and then you will make no progress at all. You'll get stuck. So deadlines will help up to a point, but if the deadlines are very extreme, it is counterproductive, they'll make you, in fact, less efficient, not more efficient. So this is one problem. Second problem, which 
many people face working in companies where a lot of things are deadline driven is that let's say there's a deadline and you push yourself and you get it done. Yes, you got the job done and you might even feel good, but it might have made you put all your effort and energy. You might have overexerted yourself. Now, let's say after the deadline, your boss comes and says, oh, you know what? There is one more deadline now, two days away. And then there is one more after that. What will happen? It will lead to burnout. Third problem. If you get used to working only under deadlines, then a lot of things in life are not like that. Day to day, most of the stuff we just have to get done. So we have to build that mental, dis mental discipline. We have to build that process where the process itself will make us, help us get things done. So if we become over dependent on deadlines, ironically, in our life overall, our efficiency will actually go down. So yes, once in a while, you can use the deadline effect. You can schedule things whereby you keep just enough time to get things done, but be careful of these three dangers. So in some ways, deadlines are like medicines. When used on the right occasion, in the right dosage, they are pretty effective. But if you use those medicines all the time, then the side effects will make you even sicker. So deadlines are fine once in a while, but every single day, if you live on deadlines, it will kill you.